Baseball. I mean, obviously, you know, we keep having these discussions back and forth. The league and the union just not agreeing on this. But if Major League Baseball were to happen to have a season this year, the pitchers could be at increased risk for injury. Spoke with Ron Wolforth of the Texas Baseball Ranch about why this is and how to reduce the risk. And the problem is that so many people were in quarantine. If, if you were from, let's say, the, uh, New York City, um, or you lived in LA, you may, you may not even be able to go to a park to throw. A lot of people that have are going to be okay. They've been throwing all the way through spring training, and we have several major league guys train at the facility at, at the Texas Baseball Ranch. And because Texas, we didn't have to, to shelter in place, we could do onesies in small groups and that sort of thing. But there's a whole bunch of people that don't. And my fear is that is a pretty re a steep ramp up because we have so many different pitchers that may not have been throwing the whole time. How can players protect themselves? Uh, the good, there, let me give you some good news. I mean, there's enough bad news to, to go around for us. Uh, the good news is soft tissue doesn't really care if you're throwing it 400 feet or 60 feet or throwing it 10 feet into a net. Soft tissue just wants to work and, and when you give it a stimulus, it will adapt. So what you need to do is cycle uh, in a seven day cycle, two, two heavy days or intense days, two light days, and then three medium days intermixed in there. And, you, and so that cycle is, is very helpful to, to get on. And that, by the way, is regardless if you're a major league guy, minor league guy, college guy trying to come back and play in the college league or a high school kid, or even a travel ball youth player that's watching this and they're thinking how to do that. The best case scenario is for guys to already be doing this. What can, worries me more, frankly, are the young prospects that really don't have, uh, don't have that experience. And then the young guys who just shut it down, they go, oh, we can't do anything. We shut it down. And all of a sudden they say, hey, in three weeks we can go play. And they just now, that ramp up becomes too steep. And so, but, but your instinct is exactly right. The best way to do that is, is to actually just stay in process at least a little bit and try to simulate the, the cycle as best they can as they were uh, waiting in place for the, for the place thing to open up again. Yeah, basically, Jeff, it's like going into the weight room. Like you wouldn't just go after months of not going and just yep. suddenly like, let me just bench press 225. Like you don't, you wouldn't do that. You don't just go for your max right no. off the bat. You wouldn't do that. And that's the same concept. Okay. Thanks, Norman.